Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honeybee's YouTube channel. I'm the Skinny Bee Man. Uh, this is uh, week 25 of the Intermediate Series, September 29th. Uh, pretty nice day, mostly sunny, not hardly any breeze. Probably 71, 72 degrees. Just a nice, beautiful fall day. We're getting ready to here in the next three or four weeks probably start butting some of these hives down for winter but I learned something this week I've been noticing it for a while but I, I confirmed it this week and pass it on to you guys as an average beekeeper probably never will catch on to it I just see so much of it you make uh, mid fall splits and you've got some hives that's weaker than others and for some reason they th since they can't make have enough bees to make it through the winter and they'll just up and leave their hive and come over and land on the front of another queen right hive of similar size so they can double their size and take it over when past I see that happening I always try to just shut the box off so they don't kill the queen that's in the box and this summer I've, I've end up stepping on a queen out here on the ground with just a handful of bees six to twenty bees around her and always in the grass well, this hive here two days ago was a queen right hive a swarm come in landed on the front of that box and I like I say I caught on to this a little bit so I just didn't do nothing just let, let them go they was probably Oh, pound and a half swarm. Not not real big, but not decent size swarm. And I just left them alone. And every time I, I walk up through here, this is my main path going to the garage. Every time I'd walk up through here, I'd just look on the ground for uh, bees. Well, the third trip, you can see where the hive is. The third trip, she was right here had about 10 bees with her hiding in this little bare spot right here and that was the queen out of the box so I just let, caged her put her in the queen bank if you don't have a queen bank to put them in just get you a, a queen a queen cage and uh, make some queen candy up or put her four five six of them bees that's with her they're protecting her they're not they wasn't balling them they were just protecting them and give them a drop of honey couple of times a day and keep her for three or four days and then check this hive here that they swarmed on see if we got a queen today's the first day I've been back into it I did not see a queen and usually 70% of the time when that happens you that hive ends up queenless so now I've got the queen in the bank I'll check it tomorrow and then one more time Monday to make sure there's not a queen in it and then I'll put the queen back in there under a laying cage and give them a queen back and everything's fine just something need to pass along I've seen it several times yeah, probably six seven times this fall already and I'm a slow learner it took me a little while to catch on I knew what they was doing but I didn't realize what queen I always end up with too many queens on the ground or whatever but the that the one that belongs in the box, she'll run out of that box, and there'll be a ha just a handful of bees, and they hide around and try to be incognito. We're just going to make this a short video uh, this week. Uh, some of these uh, two-frame boxes we got here. We're going to go through them and. They all had laying queens in them, but they, they may have superseded them. If they've superseded them, we're going to uh, uh, combine the, the two boxes. Give them enough bees. Get them late in the year, they need to build up. And they may all be queen right. We may have to do something else with them. Uh, I'm going to try this winter. I've never done it. I'm going to try to winter a couple of these double two frame boxes and see if they'll winter with the bees in them or not. I'll know more about it next spring, but right now, if they're in either side's queenless, we're going to combine them. We'll put them under a laying cage, and I'll show you how I go about combining them. Well, 
They've got about a brood cycle and a half left. They've got probably four weeks. Not a lot of bees in this. One of them little swarms that landed on one of these boxes probably come out of this box and these are the straggler worker bees that come back and found out the box, their home was empty and the queen was gone. So I'm sure we'll probably find some that's queenless. That was not queenless. She needs some help, but she's not queenless. This side here is considerably more bees, so I assume that it's queen right, but we'll, we'll get in here and look. Yeah, she's a big old queen. She's got two frames of bees. She's got about a frame and a half cat brood, so that they'll They'll pack that up pretty quick now that brood hatches. Well, that box, both sides was queen right. Go down here to this one here. See what we got. I guess I should have showed you guys the queen. I'm sorry about that. It's a pretty day, and I got 101 things to do today. Here is ready to be moved to a nuke box. They're packed. Let's see if I can get this out of here without. They made the comb so wide, huh? Get her out of here without rolling the queen. See how wide they made that comb? They're looking for room. Starting to draw off the bottom. This late in the year, I'll put these are medium frames, I'll probably put them in a medium five frame box, full frame of cat brood.
there's fresh egg, eggs in there. I didn't see the queen. But I may set her down out here. Yeah, I did. She's right here. She's looking for a place to lay. And I can't get the camera where I'm in the, not in the, in the sunlight. I can't, I'm seeing my finger, I can't see the queen in the camera because of the light. I lost her. Where'd you go, darling? It's a bad thing about bringing a frame over here. Away from the hive, you can drop a queen off of it real easy. And I did, she fell off on the ground. There, got her back on the frame. Get her back in this box. Yep, she fell off on the ground right there, guys. That's what you gotta watch. You gotta make sure you put them back. Got the in there. We got her back in there. That's the important part. Soon and leave the box. They don't fall off very easy often, but they do sometimes. And I'm standing right in the door. I got bees flying all around me. They're not happy with me. This hive here don't look the best. This side don't look the best in the world. It may be one of them that the queen's left out of. They're bringing in pollen. Well, after roughing that girl up, we come to the first box that we're talking about. It's probably one of them that swarmed out and they just left a few bees over here to his workforce.
kink. Yeah, right there, Rob. Take one of my land cages. Mash it in there. Hopefully we can get it back out of there without mashing her and find her again. Mm -hmm. oh, she's right on the bottom. We got her. There's a proper way to hold a queen. Hope you guys can see her in there. No, I, I can't watch the camera and get her in here. Put the door back in. This sun is just not right today for taking pictures. You can see her in there walking around. She's fine. Okay. Now we really got them all shook up. Took mommy away from them. Dropped this frame in there. Take this other side, mm -hmm. spray them with a little sugar water and vanilla. Same thing on that side of the screen. Hopefully, hopefully they ain't got this propolized in there too tight. I'll get it out. Oh, no good shape. These there, give them a little squirt. That way they won't fight. They all think they're all the same bunch. Get this frame out. Squirt the bees. Squirt this side of the bees. this side and we're gonna put her in over here with her bees just to give them a little break taking a little wall to intermingle we need to get another frame though
just so happen to have one right here. Actually, I ain't gonna put that in there today. Makes the queen cage too tight. They can't get around and take care of the queen. Some of these boxes are a little small. So we're gonna open that back up. I'll give this frame to them tomorrow or when I turn her loose. That's a good way to combine, you can combine about any size hive that way. Queen, cage the queen, spray them down, they won't fight. Works relatively well. They all smell the same. A lot of guys smoke them, it just makes them mad and give them all the same smell. The sugar, water, and vanilla. These bees here are cleaning up the little sugar water off of that. That's basically all we're going through. I'll go through the rest of these. No big deal. Just want to kind of give you guys an idea and pass on the tips that I learned this week. If you enjoy the videos, I hit the subscribe button, the bell next to it. You get notified when I put more videos out. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Have a good week.